Hello everybody, welcome to the official roundup of the first round of the group stage of the World Championship using Nuffle.xyz, a great website. Thank you to Galentio for that. So he has all of the groups and you know the results so he can take a look at them all here very easily. Also shows you who they're playing in round two. So Jacek here with Orcs won his first game. He is playing Le Peg in his second. If he wins, he will definitely qualify, right? Because there's been a draw in the group. So Jacek can secure his qualification place. Kfog is the uh, big name in this group and he drew versus Le Peg. Not, not a shocking result, honestly. Le Peg can play, so it's not, it's not crazy. You know, and there's no real surprises you know, in this World Cup. Um, and now he finds himself up against Blue Max with Necromantic. Could be a tricky fixture, and uh, yeah, Kfog with his back against the wall for sure. The you know many people's pre-tournament favourite is in a bit of a pickle, starting with a draw. He never you know it really really is huge to get that win under your belt in the first game. Right, Group B here. Frankie one two nine finds himself in the same situation. If he wins in his next game, he will be qualified, and he's up against Imperial Nobility, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, this is the impaled ability. Uh, there's there's two impaled ability here. Viking Cop did draw versus Arzawain. Um I feel like he was a little bit unlucky that game. So, you know, maybe he'll beat the ability in his game. Who knows? Group C. So again, two misses in this same situation. If he can beat Truk, he will secure a qualification to the last 32. Top two advance from this stage. Truk and I drew. Um, I had some great luck in that, but also some very bad luck. So there you go. Um, I'm up against Kellathorn, who does have Old World Alliance and has lost his first game. So fingers crossed I can pull out the bag. But, you know, I find myself in the same kind of situation as KFOG in that, you know, anything can happen. It's going to be tough games for sure. Right, Group D, moving on, we've got two people who won, Zerpils and Ceramol both won, and now they're playing each other. Now, because these other two lost, there's a chance that they don't they don't qualify on two wins. They, we could get three teams all on two wins here. So this won't secure qualification for Zerpils or Ceramol if one of them wins. Uh, meanwhile, Gavias has lost with Lizards. So he could come from behind, who knows? Slayer Black Mage though is looking uh, looking grim for him. He's got humans and humans aren't very good, <laughs> to be honest. Now if we take a look at Group E, this, this was billed as the Group of Death and honestly it was a bit of an exaggeration because there's two good coaches with Wood Elves and there's two good coaches with All World Alliance and Lizard Men. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's it, there's a bit of a split there, and both Strider and Miss Beltree are both playing the non Lizard Man teams, so they could both win and both qualify from week to, in in the second round. Just both of them could be on six, these could both be on zero, and this group could be done instantly. And uh, wouldn't really bet against it, honestly. It's a very good racial matchup for the Lizard Men are a very good racial matchup for Wood Elves, and obviously All World Alliance aren't the best team in the game. So it's almost quite likely that those two go through after this game. Group F, Olivier Delac has won and uh, Teddy Tom and Shirts drew. So if Olivier beats Teddy Tom, he will secure qualification. Zahu did lose, but it was against Olivier Delac. So if he can win his last two, he'll be good. Um, but it could be a bit tricky for him. Super interesting. Group G, we've got again two winners, two losers. Rio Bravo and Nuru are playing each other in round two. So there can be only one. And again, this, with, with there being winners and losers, two wins does not secure qualification. Um, and you know, the, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> There's not too much you can say, right? Because anything can happen in a game of Blood Bowl. Lamazalea won his first game. If he wins his second, he will qualify. This was a, as close to an upset as you can get, I think, actually. Andy Devo drawing versus Bela, and that's not a diss to Bela. He had Chaos chosen, and 
Chaos Chosen was a wild pick. Like, I think the Old World Alliance weren't a good pick. I think Imperial Nobility weren't a good pick, but I think they were both better than Chaos Chosen. And uh, so, in fact, he's got a draw and against one of the, one of the you know, pre-tournament favourites. Great result for him. And, uh, you know, Breaky T could come back from this first loss, but it's, it's you know, and the fact there's been a draw, that makes it all the more easy for Breaky T. If he wins his next two games, he will qualify. So there we go, that's Group H. Group I, we've got a winner, so Surveillance, if he wins his second game, I mean, we've got a winner, we've got a draw, we've got a drawn game. So if Surveillance beats Spitfire in his second game, he will qualify. Um, so that's Group I. Group J, two winners, Mad Jake and Wentros, they play each other in round two, that should be an absolute banger, Orcs versus Dark Elves, two of the top teams of the format. But, I mean, this is an undead are very good as well. This is this is a bit of a grip of death, honestly. This is a bit of a grip of death. Yeah. And, I mean, I do think maybe it's Mad Jake and Wentos are the favourites. But uh, a bit unlucky for Spartacus and Court Guy being in this group. But, you know, anything can happen. Group K. Everybody drew. <laughs> I'm not even sure who the favourite is for this group. Though people tell me Serafino's good at tabletop and he's got Wood Elves, so I guess you've got to pick the Wood Elves. Wood Elves did great round one. They won five, drew two, lost none. So Wood Elves are looking a really good pick for this tournament. And I tell you what, Nabolo's looking pretty good for this group as well. He's up against three Lizardmen teams. He's apparently had a 54-game unbeaten streak on tabletop with Skaven. And he's won his first game, so a second win will secure qualification. And as to who joined him, it's anyone's guess. They've got to they've got to endure lizard man mirrors to find out. <laughs> Group M, we've got two winners, Castor and Diomed, who are not playing each other, and we've got Jonesy with Dark Elves. That's uh, you know that's obviously fifty fifty with the other Dark Elves, but Mister Page may struggle with this. I mean, it's a hilarious build, but if the Mighty Blow doesn't fire and if he doesn't get the fouls in. He's really going to struggle, and he is also up against Diomed. So we we could quite see these two both qualify, but you know, again, who knows? It, they also no, they don't actually qualify, right? Well, if they both win, they'd qualify because they're playing the other ones. So yeah, if they both win, they both qualify. Right. Group N, we have Bright and Ivan Colin have both won. And they're both playing different people. So again, if they both win again, they'll both qualify. But, you know, if the other one wins, then they could still come back. So maybe Coltrip could make another heroic underdog, you know, tail like he did in the Season 2 Finals. Group O, we've got Spinky and Gorgo Bay both won and they are playing each other. And uh, we will get an Imperial Ability winner, another one, by, by having another mirror. <laughs> or maybe a draw. Uh, Fez and Andri are in, you know, looking in a very rough spot at the bottom of Group O. And then finally we've got Group P here. Again, Wood Elves 1, of course, Niagara. Shambling on Dead 1 with Dion Lord. And they are playing each other in the next round. So this is going to be spicy. Mongloom and Alan have a chance to catch up to uh, one of them. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is the 2024 World Championship after round one of the group stage. Nice little look. Thank you to Galentio and Nuffle.xyz. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.